Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you a super simple trick to create a dreamy or hazy video effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So leave a like below if you're enjoying these tutorials, consider subscribing if you're new to the channel, and go follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay in touch with me and join the creative family. So getting into Premiere, I have my clip laid out on the timeline, and in order to create this clip, we're first going to create an adjustment layer. So let's highlight the project media bin, go to File, New, Adjustment Layer, and now we should see it pop up in our project media bin as an asset for us to drag into the project. So with this adjustment layer, we can basically apply effects that influence all the layers and the entire composition underneath it. And also on this adjustment layer, we can set the blending mode and opacity of it. So if we use a simple Gaussian blur effect, oops, I always spell that wrong, Gaussian blur, and drag that onto our adjustment layer and increase the blurriness, you'll see that the blur influences the entire composition or basically everything underneath, which is that rainy video clip. However, we don't want it to just be blurry. We want to blend that in with the original clip as well. So one thing I'm going to do is check repeat edge pixels just to take care of some of that vignetting of the image not going all the way to the edge. That's a bit of a preference, but I think it looks better. And then we're going to go to the opacity effects control section and uncheck the stopwatch icon first because I don't want to animate any keyframes in this example. And we can adjust the opacity from 0 to 100. So a good starting point is to bring it down to 50. That way you have half of the original composition showing and half of your blur, which immediately gives you that dreamy and hazy feel. But some more adjustments that you can play around with for even more customization is the blending mode. So at normal, it just makes it look a bit hazy. But if you were to use blending modes such as screen or color dodge, then you'd also get a brighter dreamy feel. Or you could use blending modes like overlay or soft light for a bit more contrasted feel. So I'm going to leave mine at normal. However, those are definitely something to play around with. And another thing that you can adjust in the Lumetri Color tab is things like the exposure and contrast to also influence the darkness or brightness of the effect. So by increasing the exposure, we can make the overall layer brighter. And we can also increase the contrast to give us a more contrasted feel. So basically what that does is just increases the contrast of the blur. So when we blend it back in, it's brighter and more colorful if you want that. So you don't need to apply any of those extra effects, but it's something to consider with the blending mode, Lumetri Color, and Opacity. But play around with it with your clip. You can adjust the strength of it from 0 all the way up to 50 or stronger for a really blurry look. And you can adjust the blurriness. The more blurry you make it, the more of a soft haze you get. And the less blurry you make it, the more of a fine glow that you'll get. But that's basically how you can create this dreamy and hazy look very simply using adjustment layers and blending modes in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not to stay tuned for daily creative videos. Check out my channel for a ton more tutorials and resources and go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that at Justin OD Show to reach out to me and stay in touch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.